What is up everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can turn on a setting and get notified when a particular person becomes available on Microsoft Teams. There are a number of reasons as to why you wanna turn this on. It could be that you wanna message your boss, a colleague or a friend, but you can see that they're busy either presenting, they're away, they're on a call, and you just wanna get notified as soon as they're available back on Microsoft Teams. We're gonna go through two ways to turn on these notifications. And of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see we're here in Microsoft Teams and we might need to message Megan for a particular reason, but we can see by Megan's profile that she is currently busy. We've got the red symbol next to her profile picture and it says busy over here. We don't wanna message Megan and disturb her because she's obviously set to busy, but we wanna get notified as soon as she's available because we just wanna quickly ping her a message and ask her a question. You have two ways of notifying or getting notified when Megan becomes available. The first one is you can go on your chats where we are right now. You can go over Megan's name and on the right hand side, you have the ellipses, the three dots, and we're gonna select on more options. When you select on the more options, you can actually scroll down and the second option from the bottom is notify when available. So if we turn this option on, we are now gonna get notified when Megan becomes available. We're gonna get a little notification in the bottom right hand corner of our screen. So let's see, let's actually jump out of our chat for a second. Let's go over to our calendar and let's see what happened when Megan becomes available. You can see in the bottom right hand corner of our calendar, or of our screen, there was a little notification saying that Megan is available. And that means that we can select on that, jump back into our chat and ask her a quick question. This is really easy to do when you have an existing history with the person and they are in your chat because you simply select on the ellipses and you go notify when available. Of course, if you wanna turn off the notifications, simply go on that ellipses again, scroll down to their name and go turn off notifications. But if someone's not in your chat, there's another easy way to get notified when they become available. What you wanna do is on the top right hand corner of your Teams, select on the ellipses and go into your Teams settings. When your Teams settings open up, you're gonna have your dialog box here with general account, privacy, and the fourth one down is notifications. We're gonna select on notifications and then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see some options here where it says our team and channel, chat, meeting, people, and other. The people option says keep track of someone's status and get notified when they appear available or offline. So we can now go edit in the people section and you can type in someone else's name, another colleague's name. This one could be Nesta. We could be one is yet notified when Nesta is online. So we can simply go and select Nesta and now you're gonna get notified every time he is available or offline. If you've got a new notification and you no longer need to know when Nestor is available or not, simply again, go into the top right hand corner, go on the ellipses, go into the settings, go into your notifications and go into the people pane. And you can either turn that notification for Nestor off, or you could go ahead and add even more people to your notifications because you might wanna get a few people together at once. But for now, I'm gonna turn off all these notifications of different people's statuses. Cool, so there you have it. It is that easy to turn on the settings and get notified when someone is available in Microsoft Teams. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge the way your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.